So to kind of sum up this video and to answer the question, should you pick up an iPhone 11 or should you pick up an iPhone 12? I'm going to tell you right now, I would not recommend going from an iPhone 11 to the iPhone 12. That's just my opinion. If you have an iPhone 11, 100% keep it. There's no point in getting an iPhone 12. Like I said, I have both these phones right in front of me right now. I have no agenda to push. I'd recommend keeping your iPhone 11 for sure. I mean, it's a great phone still. Now, let me break down some pros and cons for this specific phone if you want to go pick this one up. It's a great price. It's pretty much like 99% of what the iPhone 12 is. It doesn't support 5G, which may be a big problem to you in the future, but I still think for a majority of people out there, 4G is still good enough. You're pretty much connected to Wi-Fi all the time, so it's not really that big of a deal. A great build quality, in some ways, maybe even feeling a little bit better. Maybe some people don't like that flat design. You're getting great software. Software lifecycle is going to be great. Battery life is awesome on this phone. Performance is great too. About the same RAM management, so it's not like one phone is way better in RAM management than the other. That's not really the case here. And it's cheaper than the iPhone 12. You can pick this thing up for $599 brand new, or you can even go on Amazon and pick it up for even cheaper than that, which is another big deal. Now, there's some pros and cons for the iPhone 12 as well. Now, with the iPhone 12, you're getting a newer phone. If you have all the money in the world, you know, I would recommend picking up this phone. I would recommend also picking up a, you know, a MagSafe charger. You're getting a higher resolution display and a better display, even though it doesn't really seem like a crazy difference in my opinion, but I'm going to say the iPhone 12 has a better display, higher resolution. It's OLED. That's really, really awesome. The build quality is good too. Some people may prefer the flat sides. I think it's a different look and I actually would think it'll probably grow on me very soon. You have 5G on this device. You have that MagSafe capability on the back. Tremendous cameras. I'll I'll just say it's better than the iPhone 11, even though it's pretty close. But you're also missing some things. You know, the battery life is a little bit lower on this device, which is pretty sad. And that's probably one area where I'm really, really, really upset about. I wish they did increase the battery size or at least keep it the same, you know. But them, like, making it smaller, I said the same thing when they released the iPhone XS. It makes no sense for them to go and decrease the battery size, and they did it again. So... I don't know what they're going to do there, but I think when it comes down to it, definitely if you have all the money in the world, like I stated, getting the iPhone 12 is the better way to go, but the iPhone 11 is still such a beautiful phone. They're both very good, but choice is yours. That's just kind of my opinion. This video before me editing it is like 20 something minutes long, which is wild, but I had a lot to say and I needed to get this out. So if you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So me so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.